Hi, I'm Daniel Leakes, and welcome to Food 101. Food, 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 people. Let's talk about food. And today, I have Miss Alien as my special guest. Hello, everybody. And our topic for today... What does food mean beyond just providing nutrition or sustenance for people? Because it seems that food has a whole bunch of different meanings depending on where you're at in your life. Um, For example, food has spiritual meaning for many people such as uh, taking the sacrament or fasting, such as in Ramadan. It also has rituals of perceived luck. For somebody who's a professional sports athlete, for example, may eat the exact same meal before a playoff game because they believe that brings them luck and and a better chance at a positive outcome. So it seems like we've moved from having it as just a means to provide nourishment to the body to a whole bunch of different meanings for different people. Mm -hmm. That's that's great. So for you, Ms. Irian, as a vegetarian, are you consider yourself that uh, you're doing this because of your belief? No, for me, I never really liked meat. Uh, I don't really like the smell of it, the taste of it, and I've always leaned more towards other foods that my body seemed to prefer. And then as I got older and I learned more about nutrition, I felt a plant-based menu was better for me. It's helped me in sports. I've done competitive sports for most of my life, and I've never suffered from not having meat. However, if my body's craving something, I believe that the human body is smarter than I am, and I just go with what the craving is because there must be something missing in my diet. Mm -hmm. So, let's example, you're craving for really a meat. So do you... For me, whenever I've craved red meat, it's meant that I'm low in iron. And when I've had my iron checked, I'm really low. And that's why my body is asking for it. Mm-hmm. The minute those levels are restored, I go back to disliking the meat. I don't have those cravings anymore. So again, the body is so smart that if we allow it to heal itself, it will. And that's another topic is food as medicinal mm-hmm. reasons mm-hmm. from anti-carcinogens to helping with heart disease to Mm -hmm. help prevent diabetes all of those things can be done through the power of food if we allow it to oh that's great so i think our topic today is correlated what we are topic last time right about nutrition and everything and and as a vegetarian what will be your advice to those people who want to follow your footsteps I don't propose that people shouldn't eat meat. I think that we shouldn't eat a tremendous amount of it. We should make sure we always have a lot of vegetables in our diet. But if somebody's looking to explore more plant-based options, Mm -hmm. make sure that you're looking at your protein values, your amino acids, and that you're getting a complete protein in your meals. So if you're just eating legumes, Mm -hmm. most of them don't have a complete protein. You need to pair it with a grain. And you want to make sure that you're getting your your vitamin D's, your vitamin um, your B12s, and all of those things that are generally available only from a animal-based diet. Yes. And I think our topic also is, uh, in general, we're talking about climate change too. Yeah. Right? It's like red meat. It's we need more of space to mm-hmm. have this cattle. And I learned that in Brazil. They, they cutting all those trees just to have those cow on yep. it. It's so sad, but... That's, that's totally true, but there's also a lot of well-documented information that says if the entire planet went vegan, mm-hmm. that would put a strain on the planet as well. That's not the solution. Mm-hmm. It's responsibly raising animals and not over processing or over producing grains from a greed perspective but actually to feed uh, meet the needs of the population not to have it disposed of oh very well said this area so in general what will be your advice to those people really uh you know wondering what we are about our topic today it's 
it's all about nutrition, climate change. And enjoy your food. Don't just mindlessly eat it, but really think about what you're having, how it's nourishing your body, have things that you really enjoy. And if you really enjoy having a little sweet or something a little fattier in food, just make sure that you balance your whole nutrition plan to allow for those indulgences. Thank you, Miss Adrian. More to come, people. See you soon. Thank you.